What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here. Today I'm playing some Dust and Elysium Tale. This game became available on the 8th. And uh, I gotta say I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I love the art style. I'm really into anime style games or anime themed games. And this game really makes you feel like I am participating in an anime. Uh, you play as a character named Dust and uh, you have an enchanted sword. You meet all kinds of intriguing characters throughout this game and it has some great gameplay. It's a platform with sword action, you get you know magical abilities and spells, and it's really a, a lot of fun. As you guys can see, the game looks phenomenal, it's voice acted very well, and I'm loving it. I gotta say, PlayStation Plus is my favorite thing, it's my favorite subscription of all the subscriptions that I'm uh, subscribed to. There's so much value in PlayStation Plus. If you own all three PlayStation platforms, you get 72 games a year. And a lot of these games, like this game here, Dust of Elysium Tale, I'll probably would have never played. And I'm really happy and excited to get my hands on a game like this for free that I'm really enjoying. So if you guys have the PlayStation 4 this month and you're on PlayStation Plus, grab Dust and Elysium Tale. It's awesome. Speaking of anime, I'm a big anime fan. Some of you subscribers know that I'm really into things like Naruto. And I'm really into old school anime like Berserk, Helsing, um, Ranma, One Half my favorite stuff and my favorite anime of all time is Naruto and I got some really daunting news today that Naruto is actually going to be finished in November so that's a month from now that Shonen Jump announced that the manga or manga depending on where you're from is coming to an end on November 10th today is well I'm actually recording this on October the 8th so I don't know what day this video actually you guys see it but November 10th, Naruto the Mango will be over. Now, it's really depressing, especially for people like myself, who are really big Naruto fans, who really enjoy Naruto. But, I'm really optimistic that this story will continue in another form, very similar to what happened with the original Naruto, and how it turned into Naruto Shippuden. I'm thinking it'll turn into something else, too, where Naruto is more of an adult. And, uh, they, they push this story forward. I think there's too many, you know, loose ends. There's so much more character in this game and there's a lot of people that we Naruto fans really want to find out what happens to in the future so I'm excited about that disappointed and sad that it's ending but all good things come to an end speaking of anime my wife and I we recently watched an anime called Wolf Children uh, where this woman meets this man and uh, he's they're attracted to each other he's very mysterious in the way he acts and, and she's really drawn to him because of his personality they end up getting together a few times and they, they start a family. They have two children together and she finds out that this man actually turns into a wolf. And not like the werewolf type of man, but he turns into the actual wolf, like a wild wolf. And he goes out into the woods and he does wolf things. He hunts rabbits and does all kinds of stuff because he's half human and half wolf. And so their children actually have this affliction. It's kind of like a disease. He's the last of his kind. And it's really awesome watching this, this woman go through trying to protect her children who turn into where, to wolves in the most inopportune times when they get excited. And see, movies like that, for people who don't like anime, awesome stuff. Really uh, emotion-driven, very good narrative and story. Also, movies like Perfect, um, uh, Perfect Dark. I think it's called Perfect Dark. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and it's like an Alfred Hitchcock, I mean, I'm sorry, Perfect Blue, Perfect Dark. It's called Perfect Blue, and it's very Hitchcocky in the, in the, in the way that it's made. Really good stuff. All the, the Studio Ghibli movies are my favorite. You know, uh, Princess Mononoke, uh, Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away. And that's why I'm really excited for another anime game that's coming out real soon, Ori in the Blind Forest. People ask me, what's my most antici anticipated Xbox One game is Ori in the Blind Forest? Because it looks like it's going to do what this game is doing, but actually do it better. The, anim the animations look better, the, the environments look better, it looks next gen. And that'll probably be the first thing I buy on my Xbox One. Now I'm actually looking for a new anime to watch, because Naruto will be ending soon. You guys let me know in the comment section below something good. Something that will keep my attention the way that Naruto has for years. I hear the Bleach is really good. I hear One Piece is really good. I haven't watched either of those. But you guys sound off down there and let me know. What do you think about this Naruto news? Do you think that Naruto is going to be over for good? Or do you think they're going to make a new series based on this beloved character? Because i got to say, Naruto inspires me as a human being. This anime character, people think it's funny, actually inspires me to be the best person I can be. So it's very beneficial. It's a very therapeutic anime. And I love it to death. 
You guys, if you enjoyed this gameplay, you enjoyed this content, please hit that thumbs up button and support my channel. And if you're new to the Beastly Gamer channel, please subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.